IELTS Speaking Part 3 Topic, School, Question 1 According to you, what will schools be like in the future? In the future, I envision schools transforming into highly interactive and technology-driven environments. Classrooms will likely incorporate advanced technologies such as virtual reality and augmented reality to offer immersive learning experiences. These technologies can simulate historical events, scientific experiments, or even virtual field trips, making learning more engaging and memorable. Moreover, artificial intelligence could personalize education by analyzing each student's learning patterns and adapting curriculum accordingly. Collaborative projects and hands-on activities will become more prevalent, emphasizing teamwork and problem-solving skills. Overall, future schools will aim to foster creativity, critical thinking, and digital literacy essential for success in a rapidly evolving global economy. Question 2. Can the students in your country choose their favorite subjects? Yes, in my country, students typically have the freedom to choose their favorite subjects, especially as they advance through higher grades. This flexibility allows them to pursue subjects aligned with their interests, career aspirations, or academic strengths. For example, students in high school often have elective courses in sciences, arts, or vocational training, enabling them to tailor their education to their preferences. This choice not only enhances their motivation to learn but also encourages exploration of diverse fields of knowledge. Question 3. Do you think students should choose subjects they like? Absolutely. I believe it's crucial for students to have the opportunity to choose subjects they genuinely enjoy. When students are passionate about what they study, they are more likely to be actively engaged in their learning process. This engagement can lead to deeper understanding, better retention of knowledge, and ultimately, higher academic achievement. Moreover, studying subjects of interest can inspire creativity, critical thinking, and a lifelong love for learning. Ultimately, education should empower students to pursue their passions and develop skills that align with their personal and professional goals. Question 4. What do students do after school in your country? After school hours, students in my country engage in a variety of activities depending on their interests and family routines. Many participate in extracurricular activities such as sports teams, music lessons, drama clubs, or volunteering opportunities. These activities not only enrich their social skills but also provide avenues for personal growth and community involvement. Some students may attend tutoring sessions or study groups to reinforce their academic learning and prepare for exams. Others use this time to relax, pursue hobbies, or spend quality time with family and friends. Question 5. What courses slash subjects will be helpful in future work? Looking ahead, courses and subjects that emphasize technological proficiency, critical thinking, and adaptability will be highly valuable in future workplaces. Fields such as computer science, artificial intelligence, and data analytics are rapidly expanding, driving demand for skilled professionals. Proficiency in coding languages, digital marketing strategies, and cybersecurity will be essential as industries increasingly rely on digital technologies. Additionally, soft skills such as communication, leadership, and problem-solving will remain crucial for navigating collaborative work environments and addressing complex challenges. Courses that blend technical expertise with creativity and interpersonal skills will prepare individuals to thrive in a dynamic and innovation-driven economy. This concludes IELTS Speaking Part 3. Thank you for listening.